And we are back. Welcome back, everybody. I am Florida Boy. I know you can't see me, but it's because I have the camera pointed down and I'm super excited to get into this box. So if you haven't watched one of these before, this is a care package from my buddy Dan. Um, he sends in a lot of cool stuff for the channel. Um, for me, I really, really appreciate him and all the support that he gives us. You know, um, it's just great. I, I really enjoy getting these. And um, yeah, we are going to get into this box. So let's do it. Let's get into it. All right, so he always starts off with a note. So let's see here. We have, hey, Drew, or hi, Drew. <laughs> I'm reading up for some reason. Uh, hey, brother, me again. Merry Christmas to you and the family, including the puppies. A couple of things for the collection. One you might like a bit more. Oh, okay. But that's just my hunch. Uh, see, I hate it when he does that. That means there's something in here I'm really going to like. Um, I, I always really like everything, but that means there's something that's in here that's probably going to make me. So the damned by design, damned by design is the Yoki. You might have to go to the website to find out about it. They didn't include any info in the box. Hope your workload lightens up in the year, new year, your friend, Dan. Yeah, it's, it's been, you know, I'm so if you don't know what I do, I'm a business office manager plus an HR rep. Um, for my company, not my company, but for the company I work for. Um, and when we start getting towards the end of the new year, uh, there's a lot to do, especially since I'm doing, the, especially since I do like the financial side of things too. So a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. The workload's been crazy. So uh, we're just going to grab right off the top. So it looks like, is this a knife roll? This might be a knife roll. We CVV Sin Cut. Some of the great brands. So let's see, got like a nylon. Oh, yep, it's got a handle. This is gonna be a knife roll. Uh, if you don't know anything about me and I don't know why, I love storage. <laughs> I don't know. I have a total backpack problem and bag problem and knife rolls and roll problems. <laughs> So this is this is right up my alley. Uh, I will 100% fill this up as soon as this video is over. <laughs> I've got so many knives and stuff that are just laying around because I don't have anywhere to put them. So this is perfect. Uh, I will take all of these all the time. Never, never, never stopping. Uh, what do we got? We got the... Oh, a Victor... He always sends me a Victorinox. And I'm new to the Victorinox world. I never really carried these until he started sending them to me. And then I realized why, why, why have I not been using these? Um, honestly, it, I, I kind of enjoy them a little bit more than carrying all those multi tools because they take up so much less space. I don't know why I'm opening it right here. Is it gonna, is it gonna let me, gonna let me in? No, you know what I need? I need my handy dandy right behind me my lever gear edge xt yeah yeah it is it's right behind me this this will get into this trying to get into it without cutting up <laughs> cutting up this this sack i don't want to cut my sack it's always bad holidays when you cut your sack oh come on okay all right all right, we did it. We did it. we we succeeded. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Let me put this away before I jack myself up on camera. I'm sure everybody would love to see that, but I'm not a fan. So, <laughs> oh, I like the material. What is what is this? This so this was I saw the tinker. Okay, uh, what is? Does it say what this is? Is this just plastic? Polymer, whatever they whatever they call it. I don't know. It doesn't doesn't tell me okay all right all right we're just gonna we're just gonna move that okay so let's see is this the toothpick yes so that's the toothpick i think that's like the thing for for swiss army knives um let's start on this side so we have our phillips screwdriver I'm trying to i'm trying to see where to open next so i think that's an all maybe that's an all all 
all. It looks like there's something in between. What is what is that little what is this thing? Or is that just a guard? I think that's just a guard. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I figured it out. We're good. All right. So we've got can opener and flathead screwdriver. Is that sharp? Why does that feel sharp? That feels sharp. I don't know what that's for. Oh, man. You can tell I haven't been using these very long. I got to get my finger strength up. I have such a hard time opening these things. <laughs> and then we have knife, kinefe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there we go. And then there's the other knife. This is, this one's bigger than my other one, ain't it? Um, let's see here. Oh, I had to reach behind me. So this is the one I normally carry and they look pretty much the same i think is this a tinker too tinkerer tink tinkerer i think so i think these are the same yeah okay they are they are i was gonna say i was thinking i was thinking this one looked kind of familiar it just didn't <laughs> if you know what i mean but uh that's awesome because i carry this one a lot a lot that's that's like the main it stays in my rotation um, unless I'm going somewhere and I just want to toss something little in my pocket. Uh, he also sent me another one. I keep, I keep all these on the ready. Okay. Yeah. So I've got my little, my little tiny one. And then I've got this guy right here. He's about the same size, but whenever I want to throw something little in my pocket, I'll just throw this in there if I don't want to carry a whole knife. And, um, that works out great for me. So I really, really come to enjoy carrying more than just one sack on me at a time now. <laughs> Giggity. So, uh, let's see what else is in here. I'm just grabbing stuff off the top. We got a couple of stickers. We got Rosecraft blades, modern and traditional knives. I've heard of them. I don't own any. Is that, is that a manufacturer? I remember I'm new to traditional knives and a smoky mouth knife works <laughs> with a killer gingerbread man. <laughs> that's funny uh patch what oh <laughs> oh by com. i was like uh so we have oh this must be their one year anniversary birthday maybe maybe that's what that patch was kind of big a little bit uh i was gonna say a ranger eye but it's it's a little bit bigger than a ranger eye um all right so we're just gonna grab what do we got a Vosti. Oh, it's the Corgi. Nice. Is that copper? I think that's copper. Let's, let's, let's see here. Oh, oh, we got a sticker. And we got some other stuff. Okay. Vosti support. And 30 day full money back guarantee. Way to go, Vosti. That's, that's a good, that's a good guarantee. Uh, here is this pamphlet. We won't go over all of this. So just pause if you want to read it. You, you know how we do. <laughs> and there is me and my full army get up just running around trying to pretend I'm doing something. That's uh, that's basically what you can imagine me looking like. And we'll move on. Is this a ranger eye? Oh, that is. That's cool. Okay. That's cool that that comes off. I like that. Get out of here. All right. Let's see this thing. I've seen videos on this knife, but I've never... That is the biggest dry pack I've ever seen in my life. Sorry. <laughs> All right, back, back on track. <laughs> and we get a little Vostied microfiber. I'm a uh, mic microfiber. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the word I was about to say. You know, YouTube stuff. But um, yeah, I do. I do love me some microfibers. So here is the corgi. And that is definitely copper. Hold on, let's smell test. Yep, that's copper. <laughs> uh, pocket clip looks nice. Oh, pocket clip's great, actually. Pocket clip's awesome. We've got black micarta. And we got, oh, we got kind of like a little micarta backspacer going on there. I like that this is left and right hand carry. Um, you know, of course I'm right handed, but, uh, it's cool that companies are starting to try to make that the normal. I know there for a while lefties were having a hard time and, oh, 
Um, you know, one of my one of my good buddies, Steve, over at Steve's Gear, he's uh, he is a lefty, so I like to see knives that are both because oh, that action's good. Um, it it just makes it more fair, you know. Oh, that action is so good. Can I can I can I do the? Oh, I can do the thing. I can I can do the thing. So oh yeah, see, I did it once. This knife was like once is good. <laughs> You know what? The ergos really aren't bad for this just being straight lines. Uh, the ergos actually feel really good. What's this blade steel? 14C. Great blade steel. There we go. I like this. I like this shape. Looks like we got kind of like a... Is this like a light stone wash? Yeah, it's kind of like a light stone wash going on there. Camera may not pick it up, but um, it, it's definitely like if you look at it angled. Hold on. Let's... Let's grab the uh, let's grab the aforementioned microfiber. There we go. Clean them off a little bit. Get some of that oil out of there. I don't know if you, yeah. There you go. That probably picks it up. You can see the stone washing. This action is so good. I looking at these two tabs on the top. I would not have guessed that. I'm gonna try to front flip. Oh look at that. I okay. So you can take this to the bank. If I open a knife and I can front flip it or I can do that weird over the top thing that everybody is like always talking about and doing like that. If I can pull it out of the box and I can do that without a ton of practicing, the action's good. Just, just know that. <laughs> so it looks like we've probably got some stainless steel liners. I don't have i do have i do have so let's let's see here no oh am i on the wrong side here yeah okay stainless steel i was like wait there's no way that's titanium i was on the wrong side though so this is my yeah so that's that's stainless stainless pocket clip i was just curious because we kind of got that satin finish going on these liners so i just wasn't sure if it was going to be tie or not but this this action is honestly this is kick ass. This is really really good, um, and it's perfectly centered. It looks like we'll pull it up to the camera. There we go. I get a little carried away when I'm looking at stuff, and I forget that I'm on camera. Other than the talking, like I forget to look up at the camera to see where my placement is. So um, yeah, this is this is the corgi, and. Honestly, this is awesome. I, I've seen videos on it, and uh, I just based on this, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I was like, "There's no way the action on that is that good," but I was wrong. It is. It's really good, and this is super drop. <laughs> yeah, see. I mean, you could even just button actuate this, which is honestly how I would probably use this. Is just with a button. That's that's. That's cool. That's a cool knife. I really like that. Okay. Um, so I see two knife. Oh, there's a Hank in here. Hold on. We're going to grab the Hank. He always sends me a Hank. And uh, my Hank collection is growing. And I love it. I always like swapping out my Hanks. All right. So let's see what we got here. We have a Lone Star Hanks. And... Oh, look at the bunny. This looks straight up like, uh, n not, not Mass Effect. Um, by, uh, am I thinking Bioshock? Kind of mixed with some Dead Space. <laughs> it's, it's very Dead Spacey. This is pretty cool. I, I've really liked Lone Star Hanks. Their stitch patterns are so cool. Microfiber on the back. Microfiber is always nice. <laughs> this is hilarious. This this will be fun to swap out with my squirrel Hank. He sent me a squirrel Hank that was. I, I'll have to I'll have to take a photo with both of these side by side. This is cool. I I've really enjoyed Hanks lately. All right, so I'm seeing a knife, two knives maybe. There's a there's a black box in here. Uh, looks like there's a patch though. Let's do the patch. There's also an Obi box which is. Baton 3 Pro, Black Lava. I have this one, I think. No, no, I don't. I have the Warrior... What, Warrior Mini 4? 
what one of them in the black lava um black lava is a cool cool colorway i, I like i actually kind of like that i'm actually gonna do the obi box first so here's here's what i've got left in here i've got this black box that says nothing so i have no idea what that is and then this is the damn design i recognize the the yoki yeah there we go there's i recognize the the emblem thing emblem do we call them emblems logo there we go i got there so this is from obi oh it says it on the back i'm not gonna look all right let's see what this is oh i know exactly what this is <laughs> oh man okay dead men tell no tales Picaroon tools, EDC like a pirate, arg, fly that flag, Obi's EDC gear section, okay, this is from the Obi team, so there's that card, oh man, I didn't get one of these either, uh, so this jack of beer EDC pry tool, the cracked brass, oh, that's cool, look at this. Uh, oh man this is a cool pry tool and it's heavy and it feels good and the ergos are good oh this this might be the coolest thing in the box i wonder if this is what he was talking about this is sick so this match is pretty well um let me see here i did pick up one thing from the last olight cell and it's uh, it's kind of different for what i pick up um trying to find Ah, there we go. There it is. So this will look nice with the other thing. So this was that, what is it? 3D dimension something. I, I can't remember what it was called. Um, but I thought it was cool because, you know, the whole it's made with a laser engraver and they do a ton of layers. That's why it's got like this weird pattern on it. Um, and I thought it was pretty sweet. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, I'm not really, I'm not a huge skull person. But I just liked how it was made and, you know, made in the USA and it's brass. So I thought that was cool. And this is a pretty cool combination. So I, I dig it. I dig it. This is sweet. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get a, some kind of bead and a lanyard for this. Get me a brass bead. Oh, this is cool. I like this a lot. I like this a lot, a lot. <laughs> but then again, he, you know, based on the note, he knew... He knew I was going to. Yeah. Yeah. Good call, Dan. That, that is, that's freaking sweet. So we're going to, let's open the damn design. We'll save the mystery black box for last. So, oh, it's the fixed blade. Noise. If you don't, if this is your first time watching this channel, I love fixed blades. I also love smacking my mic whenever I'm doing things. That's, that's what that was. So this is the Yoki and we have one of these weird, things i the tech lock or the whatever they call them i think it's called a tech lock i never i never understand how these things work on off what what determines off though i don't understand i'm gonna have to watch a video on how to use these i really never use these type of i usually just use like normal belt clips it says off why can't i why you no work <laughs> Okay, we'll we'll figure that out later. Or right, I'll I'll figure that out later. So here's the Yoki. And uh you you know, whenever you get a fixed blade and you open it for the first time out of the sheath, that's when the magic happens. So that's why I usually give it a few minutes or you know, a couple seconds before I pop it out because it's always a surprise until you just pull it out of the sheath. So looks like we've got G ten on the scales, full tang, got a nice little spot for a lanyard. And, oh, oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Got a nice little finger ramp there for some jimping. Oh, this thing is beefy. Is this, what is this? My guess would be 14C. Does it? Oh, it's right here in the corner. 14C. There it is. Oh, this thing is, this thing is a beast. We got a nice little stone wash on here too. This looks a lot like the Bradford Guardian stone wash. Looks very, very similar. It's like a satiny, satiny-ish. I know that's not a word, but you know what I'm trying to say. 
and it feels good. It feels heavy. I like the finger choils. I like that. It feels good. You can just use it as normal or you can choke up. You can even pinch grip. It feels a lot like almost like you could substitute this as like a cooking knife. Um, let's see. Yeah. So even with those, even with those really dramatic curves that it's got going on, it still sits, it'll still sit right on that flat. And then of course you've got that compound Tanto, which is my favorite grind. This is sick too. This is an awesome, this is an awesome blade. I really like this. I'm gonna go and get my fingerprints off of this. That way we can just close up real fast. Let's see here. Can I? Yeah, I can. There we go. Get a nice little look at that uh, that stone washing. Oh, they did a good job with this. I can't believe I don't have any of their knives. There's just so many companies. Like, uh, how do you how do you know who to buy from anymore nowadays if you're not buying, you know, Chris Reeves or Koenigs or any of those really expensive brands? Like, I think the back of that box said seventy five dollars. This feels like a 200 plus knife. I mean, this, this feels like a high end knife. I mean, of course it's, you know, it's like G10. Yeah. I think that's G10. It's G10. So it's not like titanium or anything. And it's 14 C, which I think is an amazing steel, but it's not a super steel. So, you know, it, it's, I, it still feels like an expensive knife. It doesn't feel like a $75 knife. I'm going to have to check out more of theirs because if all their knives feel this good, that's, um, I don't know what I've been missing, but that is the damn design Yoki. That's a sick knife. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Oh, there's the, I was looking for the sheath. Nice retention too. Cause that's a, that's a heavy boy. See how thick that is. I like the thick boys. You heard it. I like thick boys. All right. On to the black box. This doesn't have anything on it. So let's see. Any guesses? Anybody want to guess what's in the black box? It feels heavy. It feels it it feels pretty heavy. Um I'm gonna guess. Oh man, this it, it's it is heavy. Could be it could be another fixed blade. 13 and a half ounces. Yeah. See, uh, my money is, it's definitely not going to be titanium. You wouldn't think because it's heavy. So maybe copper or brass. Hmm. All right. Let's figure it out. Put your guesses down below before I open this three, two, one. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll, uh, opening it up didn't tell me anything. All right, let's, what do we got? Tools for gents. Never go anywhere without a knife. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. So this is from Tools for Gents. And I do know a few things. Oh, man. I was going to say, I know a few things they sell. And, uh, the first thing that came to mind was a Midgard's Messer. Oh man, you didn't. All right. Okay. So this is, uh, I, I only have a couple, but Midgard's Messer is my favorite, my favorite knife company aside from, you know, some of the American made ones and, uh, man. All right. All right. Let's check it out. What do we got? So this is the, oh, the carbine, the carbine rifle. So it should have, yeah. Okay. All right. I've seen, I've watched, I've watched videos on this. I know about this knife. Oh my God. Hold on. Let me get this pen out of here. <laughs> oh, this is a chunky boy. Oh man. Oh, ah, there we go. So this thing looks like a swordfish. <laughs> This thing is a monster. So if you know anything about Midgards, they're literally tanks. Drop shot action. Oh god, that feels so good. Um I 
I don't know. I don't words. I don't, I don't have words. Okay. All right. Well, so let's start from the beginning here. If you know anything about Midgard's Messer, uh, they nine times out of 10 include the little pen. You can put it in here, virtually turn these things into fixed blades. And with the carbine right here, with the carbine rifle, carbine, however you want to say it, this should, is it all the way locked out? It is. Okay, yeah. So this comes up, slides forward, and locks into place like a bolt action. And now, I cannot close the knife. So what this little thing is, let's see if I can... When you slide it up, it slides that little rod into the back of the knife and virtually does the same thing, turns it into like a fixed blade, which is cool. So you don't have to carry this around all the time, but you can, and you can lock it into play. God, this thing is so cool. Like, see, now I can't open it. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Midgard Messer knives are so freaking cool. Look how thick this thing is. Where Where's my... We were just talking about thick boys. Now we've got a real thick boy on the table. Let's see here. How how wide is this? Um, about three quarters of an inch. <laughs> Blade stock thickness is about a quarter of an inch, which is just absolutely insane. But you know what the most insane thing about this is? Is that it's comfortable. Other than the pocket clip, you can get a little bit of a hot spot with that pocket clip. Maybe if you're really putting this thing to hard work, but you're not gonna put this thing into hard use. Let's 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 be real. Like people who get these collect these. What is this 14C? Wait, what does that say? CPMD2. That's right. CPMD2. I don't know if we're gonna be able to. There you go. You can see CPMD2 there, and this is 280 out of 300. Oh wow! I didn't know these were limited runs. That's cool, dude. Dan, this thing is freaking. This is it ridiculous if I carry this? Is it is it ridiculous? Can do people carry these? <laughs> am I gonna? Am, I I know I'll get some weird looks if I pull that out to use it for anything. I mean, it's like where is um? Hold on, hold on, hold up. See, I keep this. I keep this right next to me because I, I love showing these off. I love Midgard knives. Like they're just, I don't know, man. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the, the Swiss Viking or whatever that I have in me. Sioux Viking, however you say it. Recently did a family tree thing, which is pretty cool. But I mean, come on. Look how cool these are. I've got another one in there too. That's just as cool. But look how cool stuff like this is, man. This is, this is, see, this is what I like about the knife world. I'm not like your normal, your normal knife enthusiast. I really like the weird stuff, um, which I try to stay away from Metal Complex's channel because he likes the weird stuff too. And my wife doesn't like my Christmas list. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to behave and not spend a ton of money on knives. And flashlights and EDC gear, just in general. I cannot believe how easy this thing is to reverse flick. <laughs> the action on this is so good. Oh man. See, I I open my mouth and then I mess up. Yeah, the action is so good. Look at this. Oh, let's let's just close her. Just a hair. It's probably because that blade weighs 30 pounds. Ugh. Oh god and it'll set up of course yeah this thing is this thing is freaking gnarly look at that jumping as i smack my table trying to move forward my bad the jumping is insane we got backspacer this is all i'm assuming this is all titanium feels like it looks like it looks like a duck walks like a duck yeah yeah this is this is sweet <laughs> all right yeah you got me you got me with this i thought 
I thought this is what you were talking about. I'm still just as excited about it, but that's that's what I thought we were talking about. And then the black box ended up being, you know, I, I wouldn't have guessed that. I was thinking the black box was maybe going to be, I, I don't know. Honestly, I was thinking pry bar, but, and then I felt how heavy it was. And I was like, that's got to be a fixed blade. And then it was neither. <laughs> oh, we got, man, this was, this was another banger. Yep. Another, another Dan box that. For a brief second, I went dumb and had no words. So, what else am I missing? Oh, the Hank. The handkerchief. And I think that was all other than the, the carrying case. We got we got the carrying case and we've got some stickers and stuff too. But, this is, this is Dan. This is Dan in a nutshell. I, you know, that he sends all these awesome things. He's a super great guy. Please, everybody, drop down into the, you know, the comment section below Show him some love for, you know, bringing, helping me bring content to you guys and just supporting the channel and just being a great dude all around. He really is. So make sure we show him some love. Um, Dan, thank you so much, buddy. I can't say it enough. I've probably already said it 15 times in this video and people probably think that I probably just need to stop with it, but you know what it is, you, you know, so thank you again, guys. Thank you again, Dan. I really, really appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the content, watching the videos. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe share all that good stuff you know what to do all this stuff will have their, its own review videos this was just the unboxing so stay tuned for that i'll make sure to post and uh you guys have a happy christmas happy holidays merry holidays if you don't celebrate christmas i'll catch you on the next one